So the crew and I are back from a little bit of a break. Um, Camelorn, who is probably our, our most driving crew member in terms of the deductive work, which is which is a key part of the um, human's job for crew, is um, doing the deduction. Because I know, as I, I'm sure I've said before, I know what's going on behind things, so I can't really make deductive guesses. I can't I can't guess at what's what I already know. Um, and so during that time, it's been about two weeks or so, I actually took the game down, recorded the game state, and brought it back up again um, because they are ready to play once more. So I'm just going to kind of do an overlook of everything so people can see if I messed up at all. Sometimes I forget things. Um, the map's going to look a little different. It doesn't really matter because around everywhere is just space. The key thing is here's the nucleus and the ship is three spaces away. We're starting phase five, turn two. Um, there is all our dials. I think it's correct. I think everyone's in the right spot, but if they aren't, you can let me know. I think this will probably be a pretty short video because um, the crew currently plans to shoot at the nucleus see, to see what happens, and then based on what happens, they're gonna decide whether or not they're going to use their question. Um, but regardless, you know, what happens with the shot on the nucleus is probably going to, to mean I'm going to have to um, let them know what happens and then let them make a choice. So let's do that now. I have to remember how to play and then I'll come back with the die roll. Um, Cap is always going to take a shot. You like my um, new table? This was $50. Um, the, the man who owned it was moving to Hawaii. And so... I got this nice big table. I can actually probably play another game while this one's set up. So, um, you know, if I'm waiting for people to respond, I think I should be able to leave it set up. Now, this is a small setup. When I, in in future games, you know, I might make use of the space to, you know, allow more space map. But right now, since there's just two objects, it's not very necessary. So, I'm very pleased with it. I have this, and then I also have this table over here too, which is great. Um, this one's a lot more comfortable in a lot of ways, but this one makes me, I don't know, I'm kind of attached to sitting on the floor, uh, these, this kind of cushy chair, I don't know. Um, anyway, I remember enough how to play to, to do the shot, so we'll do that first. I think the crew would probably take that order. Oh, this should move, actually. There we go. And that is a hit. Cash shot the, sh the nucleus on... There's a spark of light. I don't think anything else really particular happens that you're aware of. Um, I'll go ahead and move everyone else, and then then I'll probably load this up for the crew to decide what to do next. All right, so everyone moved. I, you know, maybe you can tell me one of the some of the on some of the character sheets, people are injured. I don't know where those injuries happen. Like Chipak was injured. It's it, I had written down he was at zero. Uh, so if you know what what happened to, to hurt people or if that was just something I forgot to change back at a certain point, sometimes I do that. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, I have a lot of papers to shuffle through. Sometimes I miss something. So I don't know if that was the case, but um, I had Merker fix up um, Commander Red because he was down too. I do remember that happening. Um, and so he's all fixed up. Other than that, you got another question. So you have two questions to ask now. Um, Giraffe is, pre or Tic Tac, is preparing to um, use the damage control again. I read up on the damage control uh, as I was kind of reminding myself of the rules. These used markers don't come off um, until you get back to, to base. And so that's going to be a problem. Each time you have one of these, um, that adds three to the difficulty. So you want to make your damage control count. So she's preparing to get another damage control in. Um, I think I probably wiped them off before. The shot didn't seem to have an effect. You have two questions to ask. Um, and now you are going to get blasted by an electron. And i got to read up again on what exactly that does. Okay, we'll start by rolling a d4 to see which direction it hits. Uh, the ship from, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. That's a one straight on. Seven is in the middle. That's a six. So that's going to be going down this line here. That's bad. That's going to hit your helm. Um, Fifteen dice. Uh, just 
too many for my poor left hand to hold. Oh, it's shaking it very well. Okay, and I'll work this out and get back to you. You get to get rid of seven of these, luckily, because one of the chipaks uh, shifted the the energy from the guns to the shields. So it's the shields are at max. They're going to go down one though after a hit. That was one of those new rules, right? Um, so let's take off the seven highest. Five, six, seven. That's putting you at a bunch of ones and twos. That's not bad. That's not going to damage your helm, but it's going to damage poor Snugbug. All right, so luckily, Snugbug gets to subtract one from that, but he also gets to re-roll it because he is braced. So two minus one is one. He's only taken one damage. That's not bad. The hull is going to be taking six. It's coming back to me now plus another five, so that's 11. That's gonna put your hull at uh, 62, which um, I wrote it really small. I had it bigger, but then I needed the board for something else. 62, which means I think we're gonna have to roll a hull check. Right, looking for anything over five here. All right, we got it, the hull's okay. So we are going into phase six of the second turn of the game. Um, you guys are, at, your hull damage is at 62. Out of, I don't know what your maximum is, but there we go. The Okay, so yeah, as it goes up, you see, it gets more and more likely that you'll fail your survival roll. So your size, your ship is size 7, so right now um, you have to roll over 5 in order to, to survive, which isn't too bad, um, but it's going up. You know, if you keep taking hits like that, that'll be like 10 per, per phase, though I guess you're not getting shot every phase. Uh, but still, it's better. It, it's better to figure it out. Um, you still have to get some information from. You still have to scramble the the thing. You have 16 units of scramble. I don't remember how many you're supposed to get. Um, if you remember, let me know. If you remember, also, how come if Cowbot's supposed to be injured and if Chapak's supposed to be injured, also let me know. Um, I'm sure. I mean, it's in the other videos, but. If, if you recall, maybe I don't have to rewatch them all. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We have two questions. So if you could ask those questions too, crew. Thanks a lot.